The set of rust now on indefinite pause as Santa Fe sheriffs look to determine what caused the fatal accident. We had two people accidentally shot on a movie set by a prop gun. The deadly shot fired by Alec Baldwin from a prop gun he believed was safe. His wife, Hilaria, posting on Instagram, my heart is with Helena, her husband, her son, their family and loved ones, and my Alec. Cinematographer Helena Hutchins passed away after being hit in the chest. The shot also wounding director Joel Souza. According to a search warrant affidavit, Baldwin was given the gun by assistant director Dave Halls, who grabbed one of three prop guns that was set up by the armorer off a cart, left outside of the structure due to COVID-19 restrictions. Neither Halls nor armorer Hannah Gutierrez-Reed have spoken publicly about the tragedy, but this is not the first time Halls has been criticized for safety issues. In 2019, he was fired by another film production after a gun went off unexpectedly, injuring a member of the sound crew. But industry experts say only the armorer or the prop master should be handling weapons on the set, not the assistant director. I'll be honest with you, that AD would have broken fingers if they picked up a gun off my cart. Uh, that does not happen. Armorer Clay Van Sickle says the difference between a blank and a live or dummy round is easy to spot. I would click through six times so everybody could hear that nothing happens. It's literally that simple and it takes seconds and there's no reason not to do it. Veteran prop master Neil Zaromsky says he sensed warning signs on rust even before filming began. I turned the job opportunity down on Rust because I felt it was completely unsafe. Zaromsky says one big red flag was that producers took two distinct and challenging jobs, assistant prop master and armorer, and combined them into one. I impressed upon them that there were great concerns about that, and they really didn't really respond to my concerns about that. Hutchins' death has fueled an outcry for improved safety on film and TV sets, an industry in mourning and seeking answers for what went wrong. And Miguel, this wasn't the first incident with a prop gun on that set, so what more do we know about it? Well, how do we know there has been multiple misfires on this set during previous days, according to production company officials who actually walked off the set the morning of the shooting. And we also know there's been a call for legislative change as to what kind of weapons are used on sets. Some are saying that real guns should never be used on sets from now moving forward. Hoda. All right, Miguel Almaguer for us in Santa Fe. Miguel, thank you. Hey, thanks for watching our YouTube channel. Find your favorite recipes, celebrity interviews, uplifting stories, shop our favorite deals, and so much more with the Today app. Download it now.